Hello and welcome. A new case in binomial distribution. Uh, very simple and small problem. An accountant is to audit 24 accounts of a firm. 16 out of these are highly valued customers. If the accountant selects 4 of the accounts at random, what is the probability that he chooses at least one highly valued account? Somewhat confusing data is there. Or data may confuse the students 16, 24, 4, at least one, various types of statistics are there. An accountant is to audit 24 accounts of a firm. That means in total he is going to audit 24 accounts. That is actually the population. 16 out of which are highly valued customers. Out of 24, 16 are highly valued customers. If the accountant selects 4 of the accounts at random, he selects 4 accounts out of 24 at random. What is the probability that he chooses at least one highly valued account? That means out of 4, at least one is highly valued account. That means 4 is small n here, not 24. 24 is useful. To calculate the probability of highly valued account, 24 is useful. But 24 is not small n. Small n is 4 because we need to calculate the probability of at least one highly valued account out of 4 and not out of 24. This is the thing we all have to keep in our mind at the time of solving the problem. So n is 4 and not 24. Small p for binomial. Now why should we solve this problem through binomial? Because n is finite and fixed, countable. Probability of highly valued customers remain constant. And all the accounts are independent of each other. That's why we can say that all the conditions of binomial distribution are satisfied. So we should solve this problem through binomial distribution. And n is 4, p is 2 by 3, q is 1 by 3, 2 by 3 is 16 by 24. Probability of highly valued customers in the entire population. r is at least 1, that is greater than or equal to 1. And p of r greater than or equal to 1 can easily be calculated through 1 minus p of none or p of 0. Probability of R success is, is n c r into p raised to r into q raised to n minus R. Let us make calculations. P of 0 equals to 4C0 into 2 by 3 raised to 0 into 1 by 3 raised to 4 minus 0, 4. 4C0 4 is 1, 2 by 3 raised to 0 is 1 and 1 by 3 raised to 4 is 1 by 3, 9, 27 and 81. So probability of 0 accounts is 1 by 81. But probability of at least one account of highly valued customers equals to 1 minus P of 0, that is 1 minus 1 by 81. So the required probability comes to 80 by 81. That's it. Thank you very much.